family this is Ravi and welcome back to my youtube channel so we are back on the series learn service now from zero till advance in english version so in the previous video we have seen how to create this table student database if you have not watched that video please go and check the link in the description even you will find this on the i button now in the previous class we have left our class over here only and we are going to divide this sections or columns or the way which we have seen the table in two halves two different columns so these are the fields how to do that so this video will be really quick so what you have to do is you have to come to the form of the table how to come to the form of the table just you should know the table name copy it and just put over here dot should type form you will go to the form of the table a new record will open now we will rearrange it how to rearrange it right click configure and you have your two options form design and form layout so i will be using form layout and form design in this video to show you how we can do that if i click on form layout you will notice a page will open in front of you which we have already seen on the filters time day two day, day two or day three where we have learned about filters and forms and uh, this configuration see this table is called slash bucket all your bucket one which is full of water and one is half empty is available over here. You have to just play with it. Now, I want these three on the first right, left hand side and these three to the right hand side. We'll use this word, just a word called split. We'll use this and we will split it into two halves. See what will happen. Just save it. These are split it into two halves. Now you can see in front of your skin split it. If you don't want to split, again right click, configure form layout, go back and remove the split. Now we have two options, begin a split and a split. Basically, let's say you have 10 columns over here or 10 fields over here. You want to display two fields on the left hand side, but the remaining field on the right hand side. And after that, you want to appear something you can use and split or begin a split. Let me show you. Let's begin the split on the top and let's split around student address. Okay. Now end the split on the student address. See what will happen. Just I am just splitting it. You will notice. Okay, let's make this split over here. So these two on the right hand, left hand side, this on the right hand side, and rest will be below. See, two on the right hand side, left hand side, and below. If you want to split this also, right click, configure form layout, go there, and then you can start again. Begin split, for example. Let's bring it down. The way it is. Begin a split. Okay, it was over here. Let's bring this down. Okay. After this, I am beginning the split. Now just split. Bring that down. Okay. I want to split registration date and time. And I want to end this split. To enter your phone number. See what will happen. Did you notice? Enter your phone number. This all belongs to the right hand side and this all belongs to left hand side the split is there so this all you can rearrange as per your choice so i will just bring one split right click configure form layout and you can use only one split if you have less number of columns available or you want to divide these columns into only one half let me remove this let me remove this now we have student name student address and interior subject on the right and these two these three on the left left and right that's it now we have another option to do that. Right click, configure, form layout. Again, you go there, remove the split, save it. We are back with the same way where we are. Right click, configure and form design. You can do it. So I prefer design because it is very easy to use. See, if I click on design, a design page will open in front of you. And that there you have to just drag and drop where you want. You want it to be left hand side, right hand side, you can do that. You can see these are the list of fields available. And these are the list of fields which I have not used on my table. Like by default, the fields are created, created by, created, date. This is all we have discussed in our table section. So you can go back and check the video. And now just divide into two half, two column. Okay. I want student name, student address. Yeah, you can just drag and drop. That's it. It will rearrange it to two halves. Save this. And just notice this, refresh the page. Two halves. That's it, guys. You have to design your form like this. So that's all for today. This is how we will design a form 
In the next video, we'll see how to create a section in ServiceNow tables. So that will be also a short video coming soon. So stay tuned guys.